got a little stash of magnet wire here off of things. If you guys didn't know, everything that I build, uh, I don't pay for any of it. I, it's all scrap. Um, I'll give you a little idea here. If you open up an old computer monitor or a TV, um, in the back side, this helps the uh, degauss function. There's also another coil in there most of the time that helps it. But inside here um, is RC, uh, is a magnet wire. Uh, the amount of magnet wire in here is about this much, which isn't uh, a whole tremendous amount. But if you want to just do some little experiments, it's great. Um, also, I took a big TV apart, and um, the same the same uh, coil here, except out of a big TV. This is what I got out of it, which is a heck of a lot of wire. I think it's a number uh, eight. You know, 20, 21 or 22, and I mean that's a lot of wire for uh, scrapping. And it, actually, out of the same, I'm you know, destroying stuff. Out of the same TV is where I got this coil at, the one I wrapped my form on. So you guys might be able to find something like that in the uh, an old TV. They, their people are throwing them away all the time. Um, another place I get uh, scrap copper is from old motors. This is very time consuming to collect um, this kind of copper. You can see there's some windings missing here. Um, that's where I got, that's where I get my wire at. Uh, old uh, contactors and stuff. Nice spool of wire here. Um, you know, just look around. Stuff's out there. Um, this entire wrap I got here was just two windings out of the, uh, I believe there was eight windings out of that one motor. This is two out of that, out of a different motor that I took apart. Uh, the other windings are on this spool. You see there's quite a bit there. And this spool. Um, on each winding there was like 200 foot. There was like eight of those. So, yeah. Um, you guys can do this stuff. Uh, without spending money. I do not have any extra money to spend. But I'm doing the best I can with what I have. And that's what I'm doing. Here's my pulse, pulse width modulator. I completely built this from scratch. I etched the circuit board. Um, you can see the uh, CPU heat sink with the transistor mounted on it. Um, actually, it's not a transistor. It's a MOSFET. Um, little power supply here that I can put in 12 volt and it regulates it down to what I need for my logic um, you know I built all that from from pieces of uh, old equipment um, I'll give you an example in my little workshop here I have uh, just old old equipment old junk people have given me and I find all my components off this stuff I do have to buy things occasionally but I mean I've got boxes here is a uh, Nice transistor for uh, a Bendini circuit. Uh, you know, there is another one here. It's a 5.5. Or whatever they are. I can't remember. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you can find this stuff. Uh, here's my Bendini circuit. Um, I actually ordered these uh, transistors from uh, offline on uh, DigiKey. But uh, here you go. This coil right here. Um, for my Bendini circuit. I got this entire... All this wire came out of old TVs, um, and then my small wire came off of a, a different coil for a uh, contactor. Uh, most everything I have is just old junk. Um, here's a bunch of uh, identical, these are all identical uh, MOSFETs. There's a whole nother of these somewhere. I was going to build a ginormous pulse width modulator. Um, that came out of... Uh, UPS battery backups. Here's some more I got people throwing away. Got a whole stack of them here. Uh, you know, I'll scrap those out, use them for parts. Um, what else I got? Here you go. Here's a, a bunch of really nice pulse width modulator circuits. And they're just amplifiers. They come off of old fork trucks. Uh, these are actually considered bad to them because there's a sensor bad in it or something. Uh, but you can get it to work at least one in, in one direction. Um, neon sign transformers. 
I mean, you can find those on any old building that closed down. You can find they got neons outside. Go by and see what they got. You can normally just have them. They'll give them to you. Cats are a little harder to find, but they're around. Hey, Snickers. Um, here's some more neon sign transformers. Just some small ones. Um, you know, not that big. This one is, uh, let's see if you can see that. Um, 6,000 volts at 30 milliamps. 60 volt, or 120 volts, 60 hertz. Um, 180 volt amp in. You know, I got these at an old store that I used to work at that closed down. It was actually a Fazoli's. Um, you know, they're throwing all this stuff away. So, stuff's out there, guys. Um, I mean, look at this junk. I, I just got so much junk I've collected over the years. Um, I got some brass wheels. Um, you know, here's another project box I built. Uh, all this stuff came out of a treadmill, actually. For a treadmill motor, I'm going to run. I'm going to build a, a ginormous gyroscope. You know, stuff like that's everywhere. Uh, all these magnets I got hanging up here. This stuff's just, I mean, I took all this stuff out of things. It's all junk. Um, it's probably come out of some children's toy magnet wand thing, I think, a long time ago. Uh, these are hard drive magnets. Um, I wish I could use these somehow, but most most time I can't. These just don't do me no good the way they're uh, polarized. But some strong magnets. There's some more hanging over here. Microwave ovens. Great, great uh, ceramic magnets. Um, these I bought, but I didn't have any. Uh, I mean, this stuff's just everywhere. It's just junk. So I'm telling you that you can do this stuff. Just go buy some shop. Go buy. Some warehouse got some old stuff thrown out. Go dumpster diving. Enjoy yourself. Okay, guys, uh, I'm gonna be done talking now. I'm out.